Hi everyone, so this is lesson five of the first integration two pack. So this is lesson five. We ditched one of the lessons because it was easier not to do it. So this is uh, one with integration by substitution but with limit. So it tells me to use u is one plus three sine x. So if u is one plus three sine x, then du dx is going to be 3 cos x. So if I rearrange to get dx on its own, like we have been doing, so du over 3 cos x is dx. So I'm going to replace the bit inside the square root. So the 1 plus 3 sine x, that's going to become u. I'm going to replace the dx as well. So that's going to be root u, isn't it? So u to the half on the bottom. That's going to be multiplied by du over 3 cos x. If you remember, what I say to you is to kind of almost take a step back and just check it to see if anything will cancel out. So the cos x's will cancel out. And I'm left with an integral of a third, if I bring the 3 to the front u to the minus a half du. Now, I've got options here. I'm sure I might have already done this, so but never mind. I've got options here. Actually, I'm going to check. I think I've recorded this. It's fairly certain I've recorded it. I can't find anything. I must have given up halfway through. Right, so I've got choices at this point, because I've not done anything with the limits. I can... Leave it as u, but I need to change the limits or make sure the limits say u. So limits equals u. Or change back to x. After I've integrated it and uh, and use the original limits that I have. Because these are x equals limits over here. x equals 0 and x equals pi by 2. So I change back to x after integrating. You can read my writing. And use x limits. So I've got a choice really on what I want to do. It's entirely up to you what you're going to do. So I think we'll use, we'll, we'll keep this as this and do we we'll use the u limits. So when x equals 0, so this is from our limits, u is 1 plus 3 lots of the sine of nothing. So that's going to be, well, sine of nothing is nothing. So that's just going to be 1. So the lower limit will be 1. When x is pi by 2, u will be 1 plus 3 sine of pi by 2, well sine of pi by 2 is 1, so 3 lots of sine by 2 is 3, add the 1 gives us a 4, so my limits are between 1 and 4. What I could have done is integrated it and then switched the u back out, so it's entirely up to you which way around you do it. Right, so, if I integrate it, it's a third u to the half over a half. If I tidy it up, divide by a half is times in by two. So I've got two thirds u to the half between one and four. So I've got two thirds of four to the power a half minus two thirds of one to the power a half. So what's that? That's going to be four thirds minus two thirds is two thirds there. Got to be careful on this because I'm on the five minute videos. So there's a question for you there. Wowzers. There. So they've worked it out, rearranged it, so you probably need a little bit more in between. Don't just copy this, just because you'll see that the, the secant squared bit kind of cancels off with it. Um, but I will do the next one in a second. Okay.